All right. First of all, my name is Alex Mijares. I'm a member of the engineering team D4, and today I'm going to talk about our project, that's the Mousetrap Car project, for the course of Design and Professional Skills. So in this presentation, I'm going to cover the next topics. First of all, I'm going to cover the project background and scope, how's the, how the Mousetrap actually works, our, our prototype, so how we went from prototype number one to prototype three, that's the final prototype, and uh, our conclusion. So the project background. Uh, engineering Team D4 was contacted by uh, a representative of Funtime Toy Company because they wanted us to build a high-performance a high uh, mousetrap car that could be marketed as a racing toy for uh, kids of age of uh, eight years old. And that means that the car needs to be really simple to assemble and really fun to be used. So the project scope. Uh, this uh, project has some co had some conditions and constraints, and the most important the most important of them that was that the car needed to uh, move in a straight line for five meters in the quickest time possible. Also, the mousetrap car could only be powered by the mousetrap, and the mousetrap cannot be ch altered. But you can add parts to the actual car, and also uh, we had a fifty dollar budget, and we could not. Uh, or go over that budget. So how does the, ma the mousetrap actually works? So the mousetrap power car works by tying one end of a string to the tip of the mousetrap snapper arm and then the other end of the string has a loop that is designed to catch a hook that is placed over the axle hook. The string is wound around the drive axle by turning the wheels in the opposite direction to the vehicle's intended motion. As the string is wound around the axle by the turning of the wheels, the snap -on lever arm is pulled closer to the drive axle, causing the mousetrap spring to wind up and store energy. When the drive wheels are released, the string is pulled off from the drive axle by, by the mousetrap, causing the wheels to rotate. So as you, as you can see in this picture, the most important part of the, of the movement of the car is that the a string is tied to the lever arm, and also in the other end is tied to the rear axle. And when the uh, mousetrap is activated, the lever arm is going to go up, and that's going to uh, create a rotating movement on the rear axle, making it the, making, creating the motion for the car to move forward. So for the first prototype, we created this, car, this first uh, mousetrap car with the parts that they, we, they were given to us in the first workshop. And it actually worked. It was, it was 400 grams and it, it was $15. And our, our quickest time was seven seconds. That was not uh, our expected time. So for prototype two, we changed our design. So we created a car with just one frontal wheel, and we made it some uh, really uh, like a, a lot of lighter than the than prototype one, weighing just uh, 140, 140 grams, and costing uh, twelve point sixty five dollars. And it actually improved our time. So as you can see, our quickest our quickest time here was uh, five point two seconds. Were to cross the uh, the five meter mark, and for our last prototype, we actually took the risk to change uh, the the design of the car in the last second, right before the race, and we we took two wooden two wooden uh, wheels and we put it in the front, changing the the one wheel design, making it a little bit heavier so that this one is a one fifty seven point four grams, but this time it uh, was so much faster. Because our quickest time, and that was our actual race time, it was 3.75 seconds, accomplishing all the objectives of this, of this mousetrap car. So for the conclusion, uh, the objective was achieved because our final prototype uh, passed the 5 meter mar mark in the quickest time possible. It was a really low cost uh, car, as you could see. And it's really easy to build for a eight-year-old if we have all the instructions and all the parts because it's really simple for them to assemble with instructions. And it's gonna be a good toy so they could the kids can have fun with it. <laughs>